So without further ado, let's bring him in from stage left, ladies and gentlemen, Pat Pagano. No, the wetness occurred. It's moving out. It'll turn partly cloudy. We'll be in the low 70s today. We drop to the low 50s, clear tonight. Partly sunny, mid-70s Saturday. Sunny, mid-70s Sunday. Sunny, mid-70s Monday. How much easier can it get? It doesn't get any easier than that. You, I mean, it's like you're on vacation. Well, did you notice? I'm sure you did. But did you notice ever since I've been taking the Mondays off that the weekends have been nice? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so I got some pull. Not a lot, but I have some pull. Um, and, of course, you know, uh, again, it's not it's not like I can go up there and just sit on my dock and, and t- breathe in and take in some fresh air. Uh, but, you know, we got to get it done. We have to get our movie project done. Um, director told me yesterday that scene 12 has to be redone. Uh, so uh, that is what we're doing on Sunday. Tomorrow we do the tricks. With why, the blue why does scene 12 have to be redone? He said it just there. He said it's just not. I asked him, I said, what's the problem? He said, it's not like they didn't know their lines. He said it wasn't quick enough. He said it's got to be. It's got to be quicker. I said really. He says yeah. There's a lot of stalling, you know, uh, from one person to the other. He goes and that is, uh, it's not good. He said it's got to be quicker. He said so. We have to redo it. It's a long scene. So it's a long scene it's between the two ghosts um, and Charles. So that's a long scene. And then uh, tomorrow we will be doing blue screen. Uh, we have a couple of tricks to do with the blue screen. So uh, tomorrow, that is all we're doing. We shouldn't take all that long, but blue screen is blue screen. I'm sure it'll take at least two or three hours to do that. And um, and then tomorrow night, I'm throwing a little uh, pizza party for the cast. So I'll sit down for pizza, and everybody will have pizza. And then Sunday, they're back to the drawing board, and then Monday, the same, and so forth and so on. You know, we don't have many weekends left, Marshall, when you think about it. Because we close up uh, Columbus Day weekend. No, there's not many weekends left at all. And all you have to do is look out the window this morning and it's pitch black. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> now, that's because of the, the, the heavy cloud cover and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I bet you we got about an inch and a half of rain uh, between last night and this morning. Uh, a lot of places. One to one and a half inches, yep. And Seems were, to be the common. And there was a couple of thunderstorms last night as well. Yeah, you don't have to tell me because at uh, uh, 12 midnight... Uh, somebody was uh, literally clawing my arm to death. And you know who that was? Surely. Yeah. And, and, and she just doesn't know what to do. Well, you know, I- so I pick her up. I put her on the side of me. Uh, she stays there for like one minute. She gets up, gets down. She walks around the living room, comes back, starts clawing me again. When I go to pick her up, she runs. Um, I, I just don't know what to do. There's nothing you can really do to to, to, to calm them down once no. they, when the dog. I, I've had, uh, like I said, uh, Emma, any loud noises, whether it's thunder, whether it's a plow right. going by, uh, is beside herself. Uh, and she also knows that when bad weather is coming, she, uh, you can, a half hour before maybe a, a, a heavy rain squall moves through, she slinks uh, under the, uh, out of the living room and goes into the bedroom and hides under the bed. It's amazing, it's, it's how, they amazing how they. It's just. It really is amazing how they know. And I had a, a beautiful black lab uh, uh, who was just, whose name was Lucky. It was just a great dog, uh, and uh, she would just go before any thunderstorm in the summer. You would know it thirty to forty minutes in advance. She would start going into that that weird routine, and there was nothing you could do about it. Nothing. We finally uh, uh, had a, cleared out a place. We had a pantry in, the, in that house, and I put up uh, window shades. And, uh, and we, when, it, when she started doing that, we, we put her in there with her food and water, and then we would put a, a blanket up over the entrance to the pantry so it was nice and dark, and she could hang out in there. And you like that? She, she accepted it. It was a place where she felt safe. But she still, was, she still was excited. My, you know, my she, sister... Uh, my sister gives her dog, she's got a, um, a black lab, she gives her dog a uh, Benadryl. I don't know if I do that, you know, it's just, I just, I just, I hate, 
without a vet telling me you can do it. Uh, the vet, the vet told me. Oh, that's also, that's fine. Yeah. That's good. Then that's, that's that's good. But yeah, but when you have a dog like that, there's nothing or an animal like that. There's nothing you can do about it. You just have to. And they have these things that they make now. These uh, these vests that you can put on them that are meant to make them feel no, more. I just secure. bought that thundercoat. Uh, did it didn't work? Like that didn't work at all. Yeah. It, uh, I really think it's it, it's it's more psychological if you put it on the vet, on the dog, you know, and, and it's going to be depend on the dog. So yeah, there's there's a lot of things out there, but uh, you can. I, it's where the great thing about it is when you have a dog like that, you always know it's coming. I just knew we had thunderstorms last night because when the first one went through, if I have a momentary power outage in my house before the uh, generator can kick in, I have once again lights that you control by voice. So all the lights are out in the house, but if uh, there's a momentary power outage, they all come on. <laughs> oh, okay. And I have to get up. I have to get my phone. I have to wait for the uh, uh, for the internet to reset, and then I have to turn them all off. <laughs> and that was when the first one woke me up. And then I just turned the system off after that. But uh, yeah, we got a lot of rain, and like I said, it's just about out of here now this morning for us. Uh, to the north of us, and to the north. And northeast, and yeah, right. it's uh, it's moving, it's moving in that direction. So, yeah, and um, and basically, you know, that's it from this point on. It should be a decent weekend. I mean, again, uh, I do believe it's going to be partly sunny tomorrow, so there'll be some cloud cover. Uh, but as we go to Sunday and Monday, it should be more in the way of sunshine, so that's a good thing. Um, Hurricane Sam is in the South Central Atlantic with 75 mile per hour winds expected to become a major hurricane and probably pass just north and east of the Leeward Islands sometime by late weekend. After that, the computers are thinking it's going to turn more to the north and probably pass to the east of New England. So let's hope that's the case. That'll be next week sometime. That is Sam. So, you know, I just, you know, I just wrote a, a small little, uh, Email to him this morning. You know what I said? What? Play it again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. But uh, yeah, so uh, so that's pretty much it. It's a relatively quiet time, and I'm glad about that because uh, you know generally September is not a bad month. Um, and now that this front goes by, uh, we'll have several days of nice weather. All right. So our our movie reviewer David Starrett yesterday uh, reviewed uh, Cry Macho, the Clint Eastwood film. Right. And he gave it a good review. He said it's not a great movie, but it's a it's a good movie, and especially when you consider Clint Eastwood is ninety one or ninety two years old, he not only stars in it, but he directs it uh, as well. Uh, and so it's gotten uh, it's gotten pretty good. Uh, pretty good reviews, and it's interesting. All his movies over the past uh, two or three years, all his other movies, he was a tough fighting crime guy, and and now he's the more mellow, older person. Is his acting skills really are uh, amazing? I enjoy seeing everything he he does. Uh, he made the big turnaround in what in the type of roles he played. Remember the uh, movie Grand Torino? Yes, that was a very good movie. And yeah. if, it, if it were Dirty Harry, Dirty Harry would have killed all those people at the end. But in Gran Torino, he got killed. And, and he started changing the characters that, that he, uh, he writes around. And he's done a great job. It really is. Also, well, you know, what movie, the, um, and I can't believe this, David, gave a, a decent review to, was The Eyes of Tammy Faye. Uh. Simply because of the, the su subject matter and the way it was handled. Uh, he thought it was uh, he thought it was an okay movie. Well, again, not an award winner, but he thought it portrayed Tammy Faye better than the original documentary did. So, there's that. And uh, for you, uh, Candyman, because you like scary movies, right? I do. Yes. Uh, it's they say it's a it's it's a good movie. It goes for the audience that it wants to get, and it gets it. But they do say it's brutal. <laughs> so. <laughs> Meaning blood? Uh, I would think so. <laughs> oh. So I think I, I, I don't like, I don't, it's funny, I can watch blow em up movies, but really brutal movies that uh, that show a lot of decapitations, I just don't do it. I just don't, uh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like that. So. But anyways, that's, so that's just a wasn't list. There, of, wasn't there a movie, Candyman, before this one? Yes. And oh, this, there was. this is, yeah, yeah. And this is more brutal than the first one. 
Great. <laughs> Just what we need at this time, at this time in our lives. Uh, we, we need brutal movies. You know what I've you started? Know, I like scary movies. I don't like brutal movies. Uh, you know what? I started watching Law and Order. The show oh, was on yeah. the air. The show was on the air for twenty some years, so mm -hmm. there's just a bunch of episodes. And you know what? That really was a good show. It was a good show. We used to do the weather for them. It was a great. It's a great show, and it's yeah. timely to this day. And Sam oh, Watterson, yeah. and of course Sam Watterson lives in Cornwall, right, 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 right next to us. But it's it's you know I've started watching, I've I've started watching older TV series. That I did that I never watched as I, when I was younger, and now you appreciate it. And now I appreciate them, yeah. And it huh. also keeps me away from the news. Right? Yeah, that's a good thing. I can't good stand thing. it. I can't stand watching the news anymore. I agree. It's just a, it's just no matter who gives it. It's just it's just it's just, it's just, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. So, well, anyways, Pat, give us the great news for the weekend. And it's really nice. Partly sunny tomorrow. Sunny Sunday and Monday, all three days, mid seventy. All right, so now you're going to give us a good day tomorrow for the Sharon Classic Road Race. But remember now, coming up, there's a big fundraising uh, Hudson Valley Rodeo, which is being held on Saturday, October 2nd in Amenia. And this is a big fundraiser for the Amenia Wasaic Community Organization by the Silo Ridge Community Foundation. So uh, starting next week on Monday or Tuesday, on Tuesday when you're in, I'm going to start pounding you to find out what Saturday, uh, next Saturday is going to be like. Okie dokie. Is next Saturday the 6th? Yes. No. No, it's two weeks from now. The 6th? Yeah. October no, 6th. No, October 6th. No, no, no. Can't be. No. Is it one, two? October 6th? No. That's two weeks. No, there's no such thing. It's, a, it's, a, it's October 9th. Oh, pardon me. It's October October, uh, October 2nd, not the 6th. Oh, October okay. yeah, 2nd. Exactly. That's next week. That is right. next weekend. Okay. That's next Saturday. It's bad enough that I confuse you asking you to pin the weather down a week and a half in advance, but then I give you the wrong date. The wrong date. <laughs> All right, Pat, I'll check with you on Tuesday. Have a great Tuesday. weekend. Yeah, you too. Take T care, Mark. Take care. Pat Pagano this morning at the Weather Center with a check on our tri-state forecast here on Robin Hood Radio.